Wednesday morning, first responders flocked to this boat ramp here in Willamette Park, called in to save a woman trapped inside a van, submerged in the river. A boat launch gone wrong. Officials say somehow the van towing a boat and boat trailer slipped out of gear and went underwater. Ellie Barnes happened to be in the park as the frantic scene played out. And one one personnel, there were fire trucks, there were there was an ambulance, there were paramedics um, all down at the dock um, trying to help this elderly gentleman get his wife out of his van. Firefighters jumped into action. Crews went to work with some assertive and uh, frankly some uh, creative solutions to try to uh, access the passenger compartment. The first attempts, according to Lieutenant Sean Fogarty, were to break a window. Members grabbed hand tools, a tool that we use called a New York hook that's a long pry bar type of tool, and they were able to breach one of the windows in order to, to attempt to get her out that way. Um, that proved uh, briefly unsuccessful and they went to plan B. Everyone was really working to try to come up with a plan to try to to free her from the vehicle. While lining up a plan C and D with more rescuers on the way, crews, including Katia Minor, successfully hooked chains onto the van. And the van had a tow hitch on the front, so we hooked that, we hooked the chain to the tow hitch, the tow hitch to a ratchet strap to our chief's truck, and we were able to haul the vehicle forward that way. And at that point, she was rescued uh, approximately 15 minutes after our first cruise arrived on scene. Paramedics performed CPR before taking the woman to the hospital, where she remains in critical condition. The man was also taken to the hospital with minor injuries. He kept fighting to get off the stretcher and back down into the water to get to his wife. I hope his wife is okay. Fire Chief Sarah Boone called it an extraordinary rescue effort, saying the heroism, creative problem solving and decisive action displayed by Portland firefighters gave this woman the best chance of survival. In South Portland, Alma McCarty, KGW News.